Once upon a time, in the land of the gates, there lived a brave hero by the name of Beowulf. He was known far and wide for his immense courage and strength, and his countless victories against his enemies. Never once did he lose the battle he fought. Now in the land of the Danes, there was a king named Hrothgar. He decided to build a great mead hall and named it Harrop. Here the soldiers party long into the night, every night. All this partying disrupted the swamp, and the monster Grendel became very angry at the Danes. Grendel terrorizes the Danes for many years, killing the many men. No one could defeat him. Beowulf, the great hero, hears of this horrible monster and takes his men in order to defeat him. Come on, guys. Beowulf then comes to Herod and tells Hrothgar that he has come to help defeat Grendel. We will repay the favor you have paid us. Hrothgar is very happy and everyone holds a feast. Unferth, a great warrior, taunts Beowulf and says he is unworthy of his high reputation. You can't even win a swimming contest, Beowulf. I killed all the monsters in the sea and made it safe for everyone. You're just jealous, Unferth. Beowulf remains confident and the Danes share in his high spirits. Finally, someone who can save us from the monster. Woo! The mighty monster arrives in the land of the Danes to feed his appetite of human flesh and blood. Time for dinner. Beowulf awaits Grendel's arrival at the mead hall with no armor and no weapons. I'll kill him with my bare hands. Beowulf and Grendel fight. Grendel realizes he has never fought with someone so strong. What have I gotten myself into? As Grendel tries to escape, Beowulf's grasp, the Beowulf is left standing with only the monster's arm and hand. With only one arm, Grendel retreats back into his swamp to die. The swamp boils with the monster's blood. <laughs> the Danes celebrate Beowulf's victory and hang the monster's arm in the mead hall as trophy. Everyone headed to Herod, anxious to celebrate Beowulf's success and stare at that arm. Let God be thanked for sending Beowulf. Oh please, it's really no big deal. Hrothgar is overjoyed that after 10 years, they don't need to be in constant fear of the monster. Please accept these treasures as a token of all the Danes' appreciation.